Right now, 10 students stand arm in arm in a show of unity. They condemn their school for failing to take action against racism. It is not just saying the N-word in the hallways that's hurtful. It comes in many forms. And this all came to a head when a student was called the N-word and then suspended for how she reacted. Tom Durian talked to students who took their complaints straight to the school board. He joins us live now with their reaction. Tom. that it's nothing new and that the culture here at this school needs to change. Well, cops on her. They took away her homecoming. Sweet. No parents should have to go through this. Deanna Merritt breaks down when telling the story of her daughter Shanice Knox. Knox says she was suspended after a verbal confrontation with another student who used a racial slur. They said that to walk away when I thought I was in the right of confronting her about the N-word and that it should not be said to anyone at any time, anywhere. Knox told her story today, backed by other students who say the climate inside Greendale High is hostile towards minorities. We can't walk down the hallway every day without somebody saying a racial slur about us or saying something that is very disrespectful. Tonight, a group of students took their concerns to the school board meeting. It's sickening. It is. It's really sickening that we have to do all of this just to get your attention. That's Herbert Roche's daughter. I have fear every day for my little girl that she has to go out and deal with this hate from complete strangers. Shanice asked that her suspension be overturned, but not before becoming emotional when talking about the discipline. I hope when you go to bed tonight, this is what you remember. Because each one of you had some way of doing this to her. Tonight, the superintendent of the district said the students involved have been counseled and that the recent events have opened the door to a much needed conversation. I see this as a great opportunity for our students, parents and community to engage in healthy conversation about race, equity and opportunities for all students. Well, in addition to the suspension being overturned, overturned, I should say, the students and the parents say they're going to be back here at every school board meeting until race and inclusion, a plan to deal with it, is offered by the district. We put the superintendent's entire statement on our website at TMJ4.com. Reporting live in Greendale tonight, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Tom, thank you very much.